We got Ian uh, Ian Smith. Hello. Uh, Dr. Ian Halpern. No, not doctor. No, not doctor. doctor. Wow, I'm all uh, fucked up. Ian Halpern. Holy shit. His Highness. Just call His him. His Highness. His Highness. You want to talk to His Highness today? We haven't talked to him in a couple uh, of weeks. Yeah, I'd like to hear what His Highness is working on. Did we rest him enough? Uh, yeah, I I'd like to know why he didn't know about uh, Corey Haim dying of pneumonia mm -hmm. and not drugs. Did he say drugs? Um, no, he really didn't have... Uh, I think he, he insinuated it was drugs. What, is, what does he say, really? Nothing. Half the time. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> what does he say, really? But the good thing is, if we talk to him, that way we're guaranteed we'll hear something from him in the news tomorrow oh, and yeah. not on our show. And, and he said a big-time politician was cheating. Is he, was he hinting at Obama? On his last phone call? That's a big-time politician. This is a story that's kind of making arounds that he, he might have cheated yeah, in yeah. 2004 or Here's something. Here's what he does. He throws out things that could happen. Like, I understand there's uh, someone cheating in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. It's going to happen. And then it happens and he goes, uh, uh, Google it. I said, uh, Google it. I told you. I told you it was going to happen. All right, we'll talk to him next. What the hell? Yeah! We got Ian Halpern on the line. His Highness. His Highness! Yeah, it is His Highness. First off, gentlemen, I gotta offer condolences to the amazing people of Nigeria who lost their president this week, Umaru Yar Adua. And, uh, you know, I, I would step in and, and take the job, but I think there's a person better to take the job out there. And I think it's got to be Seal, who's actually Nigerian. And let's bring on Heidi Klum. As the first lady of Nigeria. How does that sound? <laughs> You're just full of nonsense. He really is. <laughs> and, and I think we should pass her around to the good people of Nigeria and let them take turns giving her shots. Yeah, and, and that Seal song should be like the national anthem, right? Yes, absolutely. Let's Seal sing the Nigerian anthem. Have you ever heard the Nigerian anthem? Uh, no, do you know it? Google it. Google that one. <laughs> yeah, get the Nigerian <laughs> anthem up there. Oh. <laughs> but can, do you know it, sir? Uh, I don't. I don't speak uh, Nigerian. But, I, I'm not even sure, you know. But you, I, seriously, I was considering putting myself in the fray well, and running for the president, uh, taking the title of president of, of Nigeria. Sure. Uh, the, the only thing is I, I really don't have a first lady right now, so I'm going to leave it to Seal and Klum. And do you think the, the people of Nigeria would like to have Klum as their first lady? I couldn't even find Nigeria on a map. It's the I mean, one that looks like it's spelt like... No, I know. Oh, I know, I, I, I know oh. there's a lot of yeah. testosterone on your show, and I, I know that Opie... Uh, did Opie's uh, girlfriend give birth yet? Not or, yet. Or wife. Girlfriend, wife. Whatever. Which one is uh, pregnant? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. uh, any day, any day, uh, Ian. Any, two uh, hospitals in Nigeria, and His Highness can arrange to, what? to so I, over there. So I'm supposed to have the baby over in Nigeria? Yeah, I, I, and I'll pay for it. If you agree oh, to go there, well, and that would be have terrific. The baby there, I'm going to save you all the medical expenses. I'll pay for the flight. Mm. I'll pay for the doctor, mm. and uh, I'll, I'll even learn the Nigerian anthem. And His, His Highness will well, regale. Well, His Highness, o o Opie, wife, and newborn. His Highness, uh, would you do us uh, the pleasure of singing the can the, the Canadian national anthem? <laughs> Because you're Montreal Canadiens, I, I'm sure you're a big hockey fan. They're they're yeah, doing they're well. very well. They're hanging tough with the Penguins, and I think you should belt out a little anthem right now See, or a little piece. Link is they're only missing a sniper, the Habs. They're down two one, mm -hmm. and what they need is old number four, his finest, <laughs> to lace up the skates. I know how to put the puck. I know how to put lace the rubber the between skates. the goalers' legs. You do. I'm an expert at that. It's called the five hole, sir. <laughs> Wow, we we got boobs outside the studio. My oh, God, man! What the hell is going on there? My Where's God! Where's Northern today? Wow! Uh, wow! Wow! Oh wow. my God! <laughs> Ian, we might have Holy to hang up on Jesus. you. Jesus, we got Who some is that? hot wow. tamales outside the studio. Who is that girl? Who are the hot tamales? There's like a um. I just farted too. Very. Oh, Did Jesus, you? Jimmy! Jimmy just farted, and we got guys, hot tamales coming in. Wow! Beezed! Oh, yeah. Beezed! 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 Dot com. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's have the Beezed girls. The Beezed girls. We're talking girls. to His Highness. His Highness can kiss my high ass. Uh, also, are, are any it? of them from Nigeria? Wow! Wow! We got oh, some God. fucking skirts Jesus. coming in right now. Hello, madam. Hello, Look sir. at the hiney oh, on her. Shit. Holy shit. Hello. Put, put her on with his highness. 
What are you, uh, what are you ladies doing in, uh, the building? Holy mackerel. We just went and saw Howard, and then we came in and pushed our uh, and asses up against your window. Yeah. I didn't see your ass, though. I, I, I almost Certainly saw it, but did. they, they made, can I see it? I'm not to be dirty. Yeah, can we see, uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's a white thong on. They both smell very, very lovely. Yeah. <laughs> and you're almost six foot tall, right? You're very tall. Yeah, I am. I'm very nice. Probably like six, four in these. Yeah. Six, four with the shoes. Yeah. We like We'd, the bees it. We do. That's good stuff. We don't know yeah. what the fuck they do, but we love them now. Yeah, whatever bees it does, it works. No, we know. We're no, just we know around. what they are. You, yeah, you, you you're, go to beesit.com and you, 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 you order a big package. <laughs> <laughs> order a big package. Uh, in the next 24 hours, you get another one for free. See? It's amazing. We just sold a sports car for uh, $720. Oh, these crazy. guys. I it was know a $30,000 okay. sports yeah. car. Exactly. I know. You guys know I pay attention stuff. to Beezit, and I will even more now. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Audrey. God damn. Audrey. You'll be a great yeah. ad for Beezit, and, and a guy got a face dance for only a dollar fifty. Yeah, yeah. Can, can that work? <laughs> do you have a dollar fifty? I Normally certainly do. do. <laughs> An evening with a woman might cost a thousand dollars. That's <laughs> right. Mm. Jimmy, no. I, don't, I don't know if you've noticed, but Audrey's uh, dress is falling off a little bit there. I'm afraid that her bosoms might fall out. I know, fall they out. might just fall. Oh, wow. Are you Walking dancers? Out. No. No? With Beezit's on yeah. What do you do? Uh, what do you do on your off Beezit hours? Um, come here. For yeah. Trips. So like that's full time gig. Go to the gym. gig? Yeah, go to the gym. Yeah, get in yeah, shape. Yeah, you're you're in shape for oh, sure. Yeah, you are. <laughs> what do you what do what do you do though? You you gotta you just walk around for Beezit? Yeah, that's it. Pretty that's much. it. And then you go home and yeah. kick your feet up and go. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Get my nails done. Go to the gym. Your high maintenance. Yeah. Uh, you make yeah. money or you got somebody taking care of you? Beezid's. <laughs> Beezid's your guy? Yeah. Beezid's your guy. <laughs> sugar daddy? Beezid's your sugar daddy. That's yeah. nice. Wow. Uh, it's yeah. a good life. What idiots we are. There's two hot chicks and we're just like, so, uh, you have a sugar daddy? <laughs> Very smooth. Well, I, I know. well, you know, we have his highness on the line. And it, Who it, cares yeah, about No, 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 no. His highness wanted to talk to the girls. Maybe you can help us out a little bit here. Oh, he's terrible. Now the girls would need headphones to hear this idiot. I, know. I mean, uh, this uh, wonderful friend. man. Yeah, he is a friend of ours. Who cares? He can wait. But he can, can wait. Put, put up a photo of me and Anthony and let them take their choice. So where do you where do you uh, hail from? Where are the two of you from? Like local? Montreal, Quebec. Oh, oh really? the Canadian girls. Are you both uh, Canadian? Canadian? You're yeah, Canadian too? They probably I'm French don't. Canadian. You goddamn Canadian. Holy shit. Uh, Holy shit. <laughs> you <laughs> I'll be in Montreal this summer actually doing <laughs> your festival. I'll be joining oh, yeah. Jimmy. Yes. <laughs> I just kicked my girlfriend off the trip. <laughs> Sorry, bitch. Your tickets have been canceled. <laughs> Did you just take her out with the garbage? That's oh. one of my favorite lines. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. French Canadian, Ian. Audrey, tell them. What you got, Ian? We got French Canadians. You got nothing. Audrey, tell us what. Shut up, Ian. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, Ian. Audrey has something to say. Yeah. Yes, Audrey. What do you want to know in French? You can oh, in French. Say something dirty. Say something really filthy yeah. in French. Yeah, really good. Like really um. dirty. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, je veux ce ta queue. Oh, oh my god. What is that? Yeah. that? I can't tell you. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, really? You that has something it. to do with a, <laughs> that has something to do with oral <laughs> sex, I yeah. believe. Yeah. Could you say this? Hey Jim, what's that purple pill you're taking every morning? <laughs> 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 what is uh poofias? Oh um slot hole. Yeah. yeah. Poufias. Uh, Poufias. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that one. That's it. You guys speak French. No? Yeah. Well, sure. I also speak Greek. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Oh, I've been through oh. a few personal ads. <laughs> Femme oh. la bouche. <laughs> oh, chez la femme. <laughs> how, do I, how are you supposed to say shut your mouth? I know I said it wrong. Dayel. What does Femme la bouche mean? Uh, close your mouth, but in a nice way. Oh, it's a nice way. Yeah, like that's yeah. Like it's not like, like shut up. It's like mm -hmm. so. Family stop bouche talking. Could be if know? someone's like just perpetually stupid and their mouth is hanging open. How do you say rudely shut up? Uh, tire. Huh? Tire. Tire. Yeah, but that's in French Canadian, not in French from France. Oh, it's different. Yeah. Ah. Tire. Yeah. yeah. All right. So it doesn't Jesus sound really good. <laughs> so how long are you here for Bezit? We're leaving today. Ah, yeah. oh, shit. Going back to France. Yeah. Uh, you want citizenship? Yeah. Sure. Yeah? I can hook you up with some citizenship, <laughs> yo. <laughs> <laughs> My God. They're lovely girls. I, I know, really. Oh, God. Well, sorry we came to crash your party. Well, no, you, you didn't crash anything. 
All right, point point to which one is exactly Anthony's type. Go ahead. Uh, um, well, <laughs> both are very lovely, but yeah. I would say uh, the brunette. Anthony yeah, tends like, to yeah. Anthony tends to like. You look like you're more damaged. Girls. He likes the damaged more ones. More damaged? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, Did fucking. you have good upbringing, or do you have uh, like daddy issues or um, baggage? Uh, do you have a lot of baggage? Um, no. I no? Mean, no. You have a stable, <laughs> stable life and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Just traumas like, early on or anything like that. Baggage that you carry around. Do you do you cry on certain holidays? Because <laughs> <laughs> I like girls that cry yeah. on like Father's <laughs> Day and Christmas. I cry a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's good. Where can I, where can I, people? I'm yeah. oh, sorry. Good. No, no. I was I was just saying that's good that she cries on certain holidays. Where can people see you if they want to see what you look? Because we're talking about you and they can't see you. So where can they see you? Well, they could see them on my Twitter, Opie Radio. Mm. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm yeah. I'm fucking putting this bitch. Are you up. are you on Bees it or no? The website? I'm not on the website. Why aren't you girls on the website? That's Why? insane. I mean, we will be. What are they oh, queer? We'll get back. God. We'll get really? <laughs> God damn. What, what did you do on Howard? Did you take all your clothes off? No, we judged the hottest tranny contest. We wow. Judged, we handed oh. it a check. We Jesus. gave them five thousand dollars. Who the, won? Um, Howard won. Was that really? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm kidding, Howard. Stop. <laughs> Who won? Who won? Ah, I won first prize, Robin. It was Asian girl. Uh, Guy. Guy. Yeah. No, look, no, no, she looked like, like she looked really good. Really? Any yeah. bulge or a good tuck? No, well, she, she was. She had her clothes on. So. She had the biggest oh. cock, I think. She might have been the one. With biggest, biggest cock, cock. too. Yeah, wow, that's talking about it. That's, really? Uh, yeah. What was her name? Go. Celeste. Boo! Oh. Oh. The Asian with the biggest cock. What alternative reality are we in? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, who hasn't sent them back? You lied. That's not a fully functional. So what? Uh, uh, how many? How many young ladies were in this fantastic contest? Six. Okay. Five or six. Yeah. God, you got six yeah. trannies in one room. Five or six. How much does that cost you, Jim? <laughs> oh boy, a lot. That's a lot of testosterone. That's a lot of razors dipped in garlic. They're fucking psychos. They carry razors soaked in garlic, so if they cut you, it goes. They're not fucking emotionally healthy. <laughs> oh, um, no, so, no, what no. was some of their names? What were some of the transgender names? I want to see if I recognize any of them. Uh, Azel. No. Jesse. Maybe. Jessica. Celeste. Uh, and then there was one that Bob? was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Guy that has no imagination. Yeah. I'm yeah. Bob. I'm Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a guy with a fucking, like, like a lady's whack hat. <laughs> All right. Do you, uh, do you have uh, other places to go today before you leave? Or, uh... Do you have any suggestions for us? Ah, there's a yes. nice Maybe. place out on Long Island. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, anytime <laughs> afternoon would be fine. <laughs> oh, I'm teasing, of course. You girls obviously he basically have owns to go. a whole block. You might want to go out yeah. there. Mm. He's got I everything like you need to. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna Google the tranny Celeste. There you go. Oh, really? Why not? Let's see what you look like, girls. Jimmy's studio. been known to uh, mistakenly God. rub a few broad backs. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? I made the. That's a good thing. Thinking to tell that the hot perhaps, uh, yeah, in. something was going on. Wow, very uh, long uh, legs. Yes, I'm a large yeah. lady. I, I don't need to point that out. I mean, obviously, you know. But uh, what, what, where's Opie going? Jesus Christ, Opie, where are you going with that camera? <laughs> I know. Oh, he's panning up. Yeah, he's doing like Why not? creepy yeah. filming. Yeah. I'm not creepy yeah. filming. I'm saying hi to the girls. <laughs> I'm not a creep. Wow, the, those Canadians put out some good shit. <laughs> they really do. All right. Are the Canadian strip this? clubs as good as they say, or are they overrated? Yes. There's a lot of Asians in there, though. I like, like, why aren't girls like you? Like, no, there's, there's girls like us. Yeah? There's, yeah. Where do I gotta go for that? Girls. Yeah? Because I don't like the, uh, the false advertising. You see the pictures on the outside, the girls look like you, girl. <laughs> and you walk in, and I'm in Saigon. Yeah, just don't oh, go to Tuesday afternoon. Dude, they <laughs> smell really Is good. It? I'm asking, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that is her, actually. Oh, wow, look at yeah, you, Jimmy. Just Google it. Jimmy, well, you could pick out a tranny. <laughs> well, I, I just Googled, you know. Um, Whatever. Googled Jimmy's uh, last night. <laughs> oh, what a nice, look at that. She looks like a girl. She got the nurse hat on. Look how helpful she is. She's sucking the man's penis. <laughs> <laughs> what a helpful nurse. <laughs> is that uh, yeah, that's the one that's there? Oh, oh, wow. Look, look at that. that man. He's on his back, and she's she straddled his face waiting for the police to come. <laughs> right. She's a helpful nurse. <laughs> Jesus. A helpful nurse. I, I love the fact that she's just looking the guy's penis and just like looking at the camera. Yeah. How could that help anybody? Everything's dandy. All right. Well, she's oh. and you should go over there because they smell really good. No, I can smell them from here. It's really wonderful. good. What, if what I go you, over there, I might get uh, what are you arrested wearing? for something. What, what cologne you guys got on? 
cologne. Perfume. Or perfume, sorry. No. High karate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Would you care for a bite of my turkey sandwich? <laughs> no, thanks. I never know what to say to pretty girls, so I offer them a bite of my turkey sandwich. <laughs> Would you like my camera? What else you got? <laughs> you have it if you want it. He's, um, he's giving away electronics to the yeah. girls. Let's take. I want to take a photo of the girls. Okay. Yes, take a good picture. What do you guys do when you're not working for Bezid? You do other modeling. I'm saying or? they got to do something. Yeah. Else. What, what else you do when you're not doing Bezid? We understand you're plugging the Bezid today, and we love Bezid. And we love Bezid. They advertise on our show. We're doing a great job for them. Jimmy's getting a nice photograph. Okay. A photograph. Ooh, take a picture. <laughs> take, take a picture, it lasts longer. Here's my, uh, my iPhone. And, uh, I'll get in here. Yay! Yes, hello, ladies. Ooh, this is wow. such a nice place to be. I love this job. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Look at> Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What did you do? You better be good, it Daniel. Good. Oh, I'm we're checking. taking pictures with the Visa oh, girls. that's wonderful. Oh, that's a good one. You like that yeah. picture? Yeah. Jesus Is Christ. that good? <laughs> oh, my. oh, that's a nice one, Jimmy. <laughs> oh. Safe to say, uh, she could be the hottest girl that's ever been. In oh studio. my God! And yeah, they're a, very, very beautiful girls. Remember beauties. when I said I would we've never get beauties. married again? Right. Oh. French Canadian. Oh my God. And they smell very good. She would, she would destroy. So you you're kind of like the spokesmodels for Beezit.com. Green card. You want green card? You do actually work there? Yeah, we have like products. Any products you want to see on the site? Yeah, there's some products yes. I'd love, love to see. <laughs> Used white thongs. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually well, you actually work yeah. for them. Are they based out of Canada? Yes. Oh, okay. That's mm. why they bring the girls in from Montreal. Well, yeah. I'll be at the Just for Laughs Festival this year on the Nasty Show. So you should have Beezit.com send you there. She's well, politely nodding yes, at you. Yes, I know. Me. What's exactly. that? Exactly. Politely that. nodding. Politely. Ladies, no, um, but they might come. They, ha they, uh, they have to go. All right. Well, go. it was nice to meet you yeah. both. Really Absolutely. Is. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Beezit girl. Uh, we actually like your uh, website All right, too. So. Beezit. <laughs> Look at Beezit guy. You know something? <laughs> right. If more sponsors were like this, yeah. Ow. God damn. All right, don't get in the way, Dude, Jimmy. She is oh my so, God. Whoa. That could Holy be shit. That could be the hottest girl that's ever been in our studio. The blonde, uh, they're both beautiful. Not the blonde. I prefer the blonde. Like, nothing against the oh blonde, but that God. French Canadian. Uh, they're both beautiful. Was ridiculous. Oh my God. I preferred the blonde girl though. Two like very that. beautiful girls, you know that? <laughs> I like. Where were you tonight? The Kit Kat Club. <laughs> I love the tall Nordic. Ridiculous. And yeah, I'm you wearing like a that? black satin well, like shirt. The, you like the blonde over the brunette? Oh, by far. But the brunette was beautiful. Oh, no, oh, oh, I, I, oh, oh, that, by far. Yeah, the brunette was like brunette ridiculous. by far. That for blonde me. turned me on so much. Well, just fucking Danny. <laughs> hey, hey, Danny's hey, trying hey. to move the mics and they're hitting him in the head. Danny, see if they'll squeeze her boobs up against her glass. We haven't had a. a I want to see a, the ass. A prison the visit. Skin? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. We might have to do it. We could probably do it. Nah, nah, fuck the curtains. Fuck the curtains. Just this is a big sponsor for fucking Sirius XM. Yes. They can handle a little. They love Beezit. Uh, breast smear on her. They love Beezit. That 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 the uh, blonde. The blonde uh, was a tall. She was like six foot. Yeah, she's big very Nordic. Tall. She would kick me around a hotel, make me smell her feet. She really would. Yeah. Yeah. Just beat the shit out of you. I love how someone just wrote, this is a disaster. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, well. Fuck off. You know, sometimes this show is just for us. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes yeah. we take a little time for ourselves. <laughs> right. Idiots. God forbid. Who uh, cares? Do? You, I'll, I'll, I'll send Danny's out negotiating the, right now. Yes. I'll send out the photo. I'm just an ugly guy. Like. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, no, no. I am. Don't sell yourself look short. At this, look at the photo. Oh. Yeah. We're gonna get shirts on boobies. <laughs> shirts on boobies? Yeah, I gotta get yeah, shirts they won't on boobies. Do, they won't do this top yeah, they can, you know, they're not, as far as I know, strippers or anything. Oh, oh they, wow. They won't do it with a topless? No, they Hold on, hold on. Oh, Why? I, think, I don't know. You know, girls are so oh. weird sometimes. Her ass. Her they're ass. Whores, they're just not real. What, her, what, are, you, what her, are you doing? Her ass wrapped. I'm fucking taking a picture of her. Oh, okay. ass wrapped what? around the thong. Yeah. And just hell. I wanted to pull the thong out because I like a deep ass crack. Yeah, you wanted to see how deep it went? I love a deep ass you crack. You want it as deep as that oil rig uh, line that has to be plugged? Dude, <laughs> I, I love a deep ass. Like, if you yeah. roll an orange, I want it to roll into the ass oh, crack. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> James. There they go. Oh, wow, wait. Oh, God. Oh, I like that blonde. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Uh, Who's that little fellow with them? Probably uh, Ted Beezit. Yeah, that's. <laughs> bye, bye. I, 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 for Shit him. I forgot I was having a kid for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> wow. Oh my god. That was a, hey Ian, you're still there? <laughs> what a creep. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? I, I'm, am I being called a creep? 
Bonjour. <laughs> Ian, ha- Ian. <laughs> now Anthony Ian. got his cute Anthony voice on. I yes. Know. Hi. Hi. Bonjour. I'm sorry. This is good. <laughs> yeah. I have a big house. <laughs> no, I didn't go into the big house thing. You, you, you did wanna... the voice, though. Uh, no. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah. You don't hear a lot about Obama and the Republicans. or the. Dem- <laughs> it, it's all sweet Anthony. Hi. <laughs> 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 Let's ask Ian if we did well, man. Ian knows how to fucking talk to a broad. Oh, did I bomb with those Ian, girls. did we do well or what? Uh, très bien, très bien. C'était merveilleux, superbe, excellent. Oh, it did very good. Les femmes, de, les femmes de Montréal, est-ce que tu penses qu'elles sont très belles? Uh, oui. 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 The, you, you see, Norton, when you, you do your show this summer, you got to bring Anthony up with you, and he'll have the time of his life. Those people are from my hometown, you know. If you in in Montreal, they're probably making five bucks an hour doing what they're doing. But they come to the Big Apple, everyone gives them fifteen minutes. Mm. Ian, yes, I love those girls. You like them? Uh, yeah, yeah. I want to put my face in that big blonde hiney while she cuts gassers. <laughs> I insults me in French. I'm, I'm really surprised you went blonde over brunette. I, I, I would think that uh, brunette would get way more votes than blonde. Mm-mm. And I'm not saying the blonde was ugly. She wasn't at no. all. That brunette, though. French Canadian. Dude, there was something about her height and the short skirt on a tall girl. I mean, everyone loves that, but I mean, that just ruins me. Juicy, do you think fat Howard, ass. Do you think Howard <laughs> got a rise with them in their st- in his studio this morning? Yeah, probably. Sure, probably thought not? they were attractive. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. He's just a man. He's I a know m- you guys are all on the same floor, and I love Howard, but you know we got to wonder with all that testosterone going on on that floor, who's really getting the most action? And I and my I, I happen to think it's Norton. Norton? No, Nor- Norton? You think Norton is getting the most action? Oh, fuck. Ah, God damn, yeah. Norton. Norton. I have a girlfriend, dude. Honestly? Yeah, man, chill out. No, I don't mind. I mean, I'm saying I, I, he probably would be right, well, because let's, I would be spending a lot of money. Well, let's say mm. that French Canadian said, uh, Jim, I, I want to go to your uh, your place right now. I got a couple hours to kill before she'd my be next... Tr- <laughs> she'd be strangled right now in a bed somewhere. I would, uh, <laughs> what I would, would call do? in a bomb threat to my own apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I love that dude. <laughs> My favorite one ever. Uh, and this goes back a long time. Was like you want to put your girlfriend out with the garbage because <laughs> yeah. you want to bring someone home. <laughs> I forgot the exact line. Do you know how mad my girlfriend at the time got at me when I told Heather Graham that I would have sex with her on top of my girlfriend's coffin? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, that one too, right? I remember that. My girlfriend's like, and I played that for my friend and he couldn't believe you said that. I'm like, because he's trying to fuck you. That's why, he's stupid. <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you right now, that, that uh, French Canadian, hotter yeah. than Heather Graham. And we've had Heather Graham in studio. Mm-hmm. We've had the Heather Graham. Yeah, they're, they're very hot. You know, French Canadian women, and believe me, I've had my share. I live up there. Oh well, well, you know, sorry, you. Every time, t- where, where's the girl today? You usually, every time you call, there's a girl in the background. Yeah, sleeping. She's sleeping right now. Oh, she's sleeping. What's yeah, the matter? Let, you, let me tell you something. Did his high? Did did your highness? Uh, did you wear her out? Yes. Ah, see, not even a maybe or anything. He just goes yes. Yeah. I'm just an ugly guy. I took the picture, and my fucking neck is fat. Oh. Oh, Jimmy. It's all right. It's not about me. You know, I, I've looked at your picture. I, I, I've looked at your picture five times. I haven't even. I haven't even. <laughs> I don't even see you in that picture. Yeah, I'm soon coming to New York. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? What? I'm be in your studio in a few well, weeks. Well, that will be up to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Now, now that uh, the distractions uh, are gone, sure. Um, let we ought to get into a little something here with Ian. Uh, anything new happening, uh, in Hollywood, uh, or, uh, the sporting world, whatever, whatever it is you do? Well, yeah, well, right now I'm, uh, I'm in the hotbed of entertainment, and, uh, a lot's going on. I mean, first of all, CNN yesterday did a profile of the three big nonfiction celebrity tell-all authors, Kitty Kelly, Chris Anderson, and yours truly. We were all featured on CNN.com yesterday. It was a brilliant piece by a writer named Brianna, and uh, it really gives insight into what goes on behind the uh, 
writing celebrity bios, you know, because we we have a lot of detractors like anyone, but we keep, you know, we keep having these long careers, and they wonder why we want to cover celebrities. And, you know, the, 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 you go to a newsstand, every magazine has a celebrity on the cover, but when you write on authorized bios, everyone, you know, they go after the, bio, the biographer as much as they do the subject. And Kitty Kelly... I've gone on record to say, lover, hater, she deserves her day in the sun. I mean, if Oprah Winfrey wants to boycott, you know, and rally media against her, come on, this is 2010, freedom of speech, freedom of information. Larry King, Joy Behar, all these people are wimps for Joy not having Joy Behar. Show. Well, he's Canadian, Ant. Behar, de har, har. So, you know, bring them both on. Let them debate. Give them, you know, Oprah Winfrey, if she'd have any chutzpah here, she'd go on Larry King right next to Kitty Kelly if she wasn't hiding anything. Boo. <laughs> Sorry, Ian. I had to boo Anthony. He gave me the delayed, I had to swallow my drink, boo. <laughs> Ian, let me ask you, Kitty Kelly <clears throat> is usually right, isn't she? Like, she doesn't get successfully sued? Uh, Kitty Kelly used to be, a, I believe, a showgirl in Vegas, and then she... Uh, no. She, yes, absolutely. Wow. That's how, I didn't know that. Yes, and that's how she, uh, you know, she switched careers, switched gears. I admire her. Look, any again, my barometer for success in this business, anyone 10 years and over, in, I don't care if they're farting on a CD and releasing it, but anyone in show business 10 years and, and more, I take off my hat to them. The one-hit wonders I have zero time for. Okay. And, and Kitty Kelly's endured. Her product, you know... No one's ever sued her successfully, just like His Highness. I have, you know, I have so many detractors. Believe me, I sleep very well at night. You know, all these people. I, I was up in Runyon Canyon the other day. Some guy, you know, I've been on every show in the world. Some guy comes up to me, recognizes me Opie from what show? Opie, Opie and Anthony. Anthony. I yes. He's following suit. Like yes. Any other phone call. Hiking. I was hiking. Hot girls. Yeah. With my girlfriend. And the Opie and Anthony mentioned. Ian. Yes. Last time you were on our show, you you had a blind item about a politician in Washington having an affair or something, or or had an affair. Was that the Obama story that finally came out? Well, I can't, I don't reveal blind items, but just figure it out. Okay. Uh, what what do you think about that, well, Barry? Well, 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 let me ask you about Obama because they're saying back in two thousand four he uh, might have been doing a little of that cheating. Um, oh really? Well, yeah, it was in rag <laughs> magazines. I'm not saying anything out of turn here. He was doing a little tapioca back then. And, uh, look, you know, Barry Obama, he's had his share. He was a stud in uh, university. You know, he's not Mother Teresa. And Michelle, you know, she's just got to live with it. Look, Michelle. You know, My Obama, bad. Does, does this guy really have a passport or what? I mean, maybe he should be the president of Nigeria. I have no idea. Is this a legal president? Well, I don't know. Where, gonna, where's his birth certificate? They're going to mm -hmm. spend four years trying to figure that out. Some speculation. It, a lot of speculation. It I is a know. fair question, where's his birth certificate? Sure. I, don't, I don't even care at this point. Hawaii and says is, they've come up with it. Is he circumcised? I don't know. I don't mm, really look don't at guys' know. cars. So mm. That's a question for you, Ian. Right, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Barry Obama and his highness playing one-on-one, -on -one, half court. Who wins? <laughs> Um, Obama and his <laughs> <highness>. <laughs> so obnoxious. I love. It. I think you would win to tell you the truth, because uh, Obama's proven. Uh, Barry Obama has proven that he is not a good basketball yeah, player. I'm not, I'm not impressed with his jump shot. No. Uh, I clean his clock, man. All right, man. Yeah, his highness can dunk. <laughs> I'm not a, kidding you. I, I hear you. Now, now, your highness. Uh, yeah. Princess Di was a uh, did a little Lesbo stuff or what? Wow. Yeah. Uh, first of all, a few weeks ago, I revealed that she had an affair with a rock singer named Robert. It was uh, incorrectly reported in a lot of media. A lot of people thought it was Robert Palmer, and uh, I, all I know, it was a rock singer named Robert. Now, the same sort Robert, Robert Kelly. <laughs> Robert Kelly. I don't know who it was, but she was <laughs> she and and she had an abortion with this guy. She checked into a uh, clinic in Switzerland in uh, 1994, two years before she divorced. Uh, Wow. Uh, Prince Charles, and uh, it was all, you know, swept under the rug, so there wasn't a big royal family. The abortion was swept under the yeah. rug? <laughs> Vacuumed under the rug. <laughs> a little bump in the carpet. <laughs> what do you do? Jesus. <laughs> Take a mallet to yeah. it. Yeah, someone left a tomato under here. <laughs> 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 oh, God. 
So she got an abortion down at the free clinic. Yeah, she they they, they you know they <laughs> they shuttled her to Switzerland and uh, mm. and that was it. She well, you know. Well, um, but now now the source alleges that she had a, something like a nine year affair with uh, a woman, and she was into oh. women. Did you do you think oh, she was a good word. box uh, liquor? Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's she, no way was, Prince Charles fucked her right. No, oh, yeah, she, no. Yeah, she, she, I, got, I like to lick pussy. There's no doubt about it. I got it. I got a better question as far as Princess Di goes. Now her uh, second son there. What do you got? You got uh, Harry and you got uh, Harry's the young one. Harry yeah. and Chip. Yeah. Harry and Chip. William. Okay, no, it's William, not Chip. <laughs> oh. William and Harry. Right. <laughs> and, and Harry's not the biological Prince son Chip. of Prince Charles. Well, that's what I want to ask you. Yeah. It's. These guys are doing their own show now, which I is fine. I was just laughing at Prince, Prince Chip. Prince oh, Chip. Prince Chip. He comes I, up with I didn't Prince hear you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, now, it's pretty obvious that the younger one there, that Prince Harry, doesn't look like fucking the father. Yeah, he looks like James Hewitt, the, another person. Wow. There. But it's never been proven, oh. right? Yeah. Oh, this has been going around for years. But you yeah. would think in the royal family, they would want to know and have that bloodline uh, be, uh, you know, true. pure and true. Yes. You, you would know, think. The queen likes to, you know, sweep everything again under the carpet. Keep yeah. it because look, this be a, royal family, lumpy carpet. <laughs> yeah, really. Family on the planet. They're uh -huh. living off ta taxpayers' hard-earned dough for eons, and uh, you know they don't want to lose their jobs. They have the best gig. These people have never worked a day. Look at the queen. Remember back, I think it was nine. Yes. <laughs> 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 Some guy was climbed into her bedroom. Uh huh. Do you remember that when some guy climbed into her bedroom and didn't get caught until the end? Yeah. Yeah, that was her lover. You know, oh, you just, damn. You just don't sneak up to Buckingham Palace. Like, Anthony just can't sneak up there, put a ladder up, and get access to the Queen's window. This I mean, is true. You know, he'd be shot mm. like a pancake. On the side People shoot you. pancakes? They certainly do. Uh, in England, they must shoot pancakes. Absolutely, because they think that they're, they're soft wheels. <laughs> 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 they don't know what they are. Those dumb yeah, Brits. Yeah, shoot that thing. It's yes. soft wheel, apparently. It looks like, I think it's a flying saucer. Yes, my word. Let's murder it. Yes. Pancake hunting today. Oh, Get look. the hounds. Oh, a giant Jew has dropped his yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> if the queen was in your studio now, would you bang her? She's Legs, no, right no. I let, her, I let her suck my cock while cuckold Philip watched. <laughs> cuckold, <laughs> cuckold Philip. As she did that stupid wave under your balls. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's for. That's how she, yeah, massages your balls. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Dumb wave right under your sack. Yeah, she takes her glove and she'll just, <laughs> she has like one finger, but it, it's on your taint. <laughs> and it mushes your taint skin. <laughs> like her finger dings into your taint and it wraps around it and fucking... <laughs> Your taint, uh, it, oh, it's like your taint's been put in a washing machine. Yes. It gets agitated. Just, yeah. like, just like that, huh? Yes. Yeah. That's that's wonderful. Why, that's, why, that's why she's known as, as Stinky Fingers Liz. <laughs> <laughs> That's her nickname around around old Buckingham Pal. See, I didn't know that, Jimmy. I'm glad you gave me a little knowledge to Those stinky fingers has got flowers. Uh, here she comes, yes, old onion fingers. Mm, yeah. Ian, I would uh, I would uh, I would bang her. Yeah, I, think I would. That's a good move. Yeah, I would. Yeah. For the story, you got it. it would be Come the on. All-time YouTube hit. Maybe back in the forties, thirties. Exactly. What the hell. She was changing like fucking tires during the war. Yeah, exactly. She was. Uh -huh. She was a real go-getter. That uh, that one. If yeah, you I, if you had a blindfold on, would, could you tell that it's uh, old pussy? Of course you could. <laughs> of course you could. Well, apparently she shaves. She does shave. It might be hard. How do you know that she shaves? How would Ian yeah, even I have you highness? I have very good sources. Let me tell you, <laughs> Anthony rules. giving it to the Queen missionary style yeah. would be the all-time YouTube hit. Nothing that would be a biggie. That. You know how that you know she shaves? They found a mound of pubic hair with a little crown on it <laughs> on the bathroom floor. <laughs> in the background belting out, God save the Queen. Would that be great? <laughs> Yeah, the, the queen's a horny bitch. The, the queen's a gang. <laughs> She's a horny bitch. Yeah. Is yeah. This, a, this isn't quite a blind item, is it? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I didn't say the queen of what country. Uh, Google it. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't have time well, for all your other nonsense. Is there any... Uh, nonsense. Is there any other stories that we should be talking about, though? Uh, yeah, my Michael Jackson movie's coming out in a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. And it's been, you know, 
Right. Not all over the world. It's going to. Uh, but I thought we were going to be invited to the premiere. Uh, absolutely. When, when are we getting our invites? We're giving everyone because of security reasons. See, people are threatening to shoot me. So <laughs> they're doing a tight security twenty-four what? hours. Who? Notice Besides our listeners. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Ian. You're a big star. We apologize. Yeah, that, it's that on wasn't the right. That Wait. wasn't right. A world premiere, and, and he means world premiere. This movie's going to be all over the world. Yes. It's been bought in. Really? You know. Mm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> he goes, you know. <laughs> you know. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> but if you say so. When is it? It, it was the cover of Variety about a month ago. Yeah, we remember talking about that. June 25th, the release of my film, meaning his, mm -hmm. MJ Gone Too Soon. That's right. And is he gay or not? Now they're saying he is, They then they say yeah, he's not. I came on your show a year ago, whenever it was, and I said he's gay. You know, I had death threats. People wanted to boycott the book worldwide, and you know, ten they, months they later, they did eight apparently. Years, <laughs> oh, Mike comes out on the record. My joke. Is, uh, one of his doctors confirms it, and once again, Sorry. you know, look, I'm not gloating. I'm not yeah putting myself on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling everyone that you know I'm the number one guy in the world when it comes to gossip. But I was right when I took all that heat. No one defended me. Not even Anthony, man. I had no. Threats. I know. I apologize for that. Yeah. Yeah, Anthony, you should have you should have fucking defended him. You I'm know, thinking. I am one of his staunch supporters. Yes. Uh, yes. His yeah, Highness, well, His Majesty, you on His Highness. <laughs> After my Jackson film comes out, I'm taking you on the house to Scandinavia oh, for a summer fuck. holiday. That'd be cool. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Scandinavia. But it's going to be called Ope Anthony and His Highness's summer vacation. It sounds thrilling. Yeah, you're going to have a good time. But getting back to Jackson, yeah, yep. people are coming out now, lovers, saying, you know, look, I don't care if Jackson was gay. I just mentioned it in a page of my book, and people called for my head. Yeah, mm. they sure did. Apparently they were calling for his, too. <laughs> Get it? You know, <laughs> I quoted one guy saying, that ja <clears throat> quoting Jackson saying, "The King of Pop wants to lick your lollipop." Mm -hmm. Oh, his, his fans freaked out. Yeah, they sure did. They the couldn't take pop. it. What a terrible dirty talker. Yeah, they couldn't no. take that. The right? King yeah. of Pop wants to lick, wants your, to lick lollipop. your lollipop. Pop is in there <sighs> twice. Yeah, no. sounds stupid. How about the King of Pop wants your jizz all over his face <laughs> and burned off hairdo? Vitiligo oh, skin. <laughs> yeah. you know, the king of pop wants the rest of his skin evened out. <laughs> How about some cummy? <laughs> Apparently, little boy cum <laughs> has a lot of acid in it. <laughs> Everyone's been after me for the content. You know, this, this film is under lock and key. It's in. It's sure. in the uh, lock and key. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. everyone's been trying to get it, to pirate mm. it. You know, it's very tight security. But I'll, I'll give you guys the first scoop because I haven't. I've had tons of interview requests. I haven't even given a nugget out what this film's about. So I'll, let me give you a tease. Over All right. Here. All right. First of all, it's a tribute to MJ. And at one po I do a lot of undercover stuff in the film. You know, I, I was the only guy really covering MJ the last two years of his life until the final six months. After I announced he had six months to live, all of a sudden there was, uh, you know, a media blitz on him. But... At one point in the film, I go undercover with MJ's longtime personal trainer. I told him I was a gay canoe instructor from Canada wanting to get in shape. <laughs> a and gay you canoe instructor. Could you have picked a better fucking cover? Exactly. <laughs> Where'd you pick that one out of? It sounds like an improv fucking, a hack improv exactly. act. Give me an occupation. Sounds like we're Give me a sexual preference. <laughs> yes. Give me a location. Give me something Indians built. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What was that show? The improv show? What's your uh, line? Yeah. What uh, whose line is it anyway? Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what he was doing. Like practicing for that show. A gay Canadian canoe instructor. instructor. Right. And the only person to buy into that was the Incredible Hulk, Lou Ferrigno. Yeah. So he put me through the thought you said something else is what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you see, because he's deaf. You know, Lou reads this. I didn't even get that. <laughs> he could not hear well. He thought you said you were a gay Jew instructor. He didn't catch it. <laughs> you know, Lou's ears aren't what they what they should have been. They were right. never any good. They were never anything. <laughs> Lou is legally deaf, but he reads lips. 
Well, oh, does he? Yeah, yeah perfectly, perfectly. <clears throat> oh, well, that's impressive. You know, uh, um, is that a blind item? Uh, you blew it. No, I, <laughs> it's a deaf item. Say, <laughs> 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 deaf item. That's the joke. God damn it. Is that a deaf item? <laughs> God, Jimmy. Uh, all right. <laughs> Go ahead, Ian. Sorry. Yeah. So, Luke Sorry we took this call. He did for yes. Jackson for This Is It. Mm -hmm. Okay. And along the way, he dishes to me a lot of info about MJ. But in the movie, you'll see. Wait, hold on. He was doing Lou Ferrigno's workout? Yeah. So what would he do? Just tape two iPod buds to his head and not turn anything on? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Fill his ear canals with hot wax. <laughs> exactly. And, and then just talk like a retard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Get laughed at behind his back, never to his face. Because he's muscular. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we get it. He can beat you up. <laughs> yeah. We got that, Jimmy. Go, I'm sorry. So, he, Michael Jackson was doing a Lou Ferrigno's workout. Yeah, Lou, Lou trained him for the This Is It tour. And he also trained his highness, undercover as a gay canoe instructor. Right. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and, it, you know, in the film, I asked Lou, who's in better shape? At the time, Michael was doing the uh, same workout as His Highness. And who do you think Lou said is in better shape? Well, um, hopefully you. Yeah, he said no contest. His Highness. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you know. We learned no. a lot about His Highness. I, I want a whole list of things. I, I know. He could be the sniper for the Canadians. Yeah, yeah. He could beat Obama in one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. He could dunk. <laughs> What else? Barry Obama. Uh, you know, I, I no, he called him Barry too. Oblama. Barry Oblama. You know, I have my flaws, too, but I, I think it's safe to say the richest guy on air right now is his highness. So that's not one of my flaws. So wait, what? Ha now what, what's one of the nuggets? That, that Michael Jackson wasn't in as good a shape as his highness? I mean, that's yeah, probably well, a big item. Know, but the whole thing is I actually was able to infiltrate <laughs> uh, Michael, MJ's personal trainer and get a lot of insight. You know, Lou's actually a really nice guy. Oh, yeah. And uh, he he is an amazing trainer. I mean, that workout that he put me through was grueling. I have no idea. You know, he said Michael couldn't even get through like 20 minutes of it. His Highness did the full two hours. Really? Yes. Now, how is that? Because it looks to me like Michael Jackson, with his dancing and whatnot, would probably be in pretty good shape. Yeah. If he wasn't dead, I mean. Yeah, well, he wasn't. You know, Michael... <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> said he was a bit lazy, out of shape, mm. you know, ate a lot of junk food. You know. E-Rock? <laughs> 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 it's not MJ, that's LB. <laughs> but it, it is He's a pound. to MJ, and uh, there's a lot of good stuff in the film. That, you know, I'm going to release the secret MJ tapes that I have in the Oh, film. damn. want to hear those. What do they consist of? Um... What does it consist of? Just a lot of personal thoughts of the King of Pop. Do they have him working out? Do saying, Lou, Lou, and then tap, tap, and then Lou goes, what? <laughs> no, Lou has no I, idea. I Lou. am MJ's number one fan. I always loved the guy, and I've met him. He's one of the nicest people I've ever met. But there, there were just so many undesirables around him. No matter what the autopsy revealed, I always knew it was greed that killed him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the sleaze balls around him, they should be held accountable. Mm-hmm. Wow, huh? Oh. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing this movie if it's actually something that's going to happen. Oh, it's happening. All right, good. good Two-hour yeah. flick. Yeah. You uh, know, why, why do you think I've been in L.A. all these months? See? You know? He's uh, been hiding out, he said, over the past post -production, few months. Post-production. That's editing. what he's doing. Sure. Uh, Ian, uh, we we got to move on because we've got to take a break. Anything else? Yes. You good? Uh, yeah, there's one uh, one other thing. And it goes back to this. I, I have a blind item for you this oh, week. Oh, all right. Oh, we like the blind okay. item. The governor of New York. Hey, the governor. Who's the governor now? Oh, <laughs> well, a blind guy. That's why he <laughs> said <laughs> what he What's said. What's the prerequisite for being governor of New York these days? Uh, you have to be, uh, and you have to be. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Bud. Yeah, I think it's, you know, you've got to be blind and have a boner on in that town to be governor. You know what, uh, Dave from Philly uh, has a very good uh, uh, thought here. Yeah, let me get to my uh, Ian Halpern is proud of the fact that he was better in shape than a 95-pound Oxycontin addict. <laughs> 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 yeah, that wasn't really saying much, Ian. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're 
but okay. I understand my cock is bigger than Macaulay Culkin's <laughs> when he did Home Alone too. <laughs> when he was young. All right, why don't we do this Last blind item? Home Alone? Yeah. Blind <laughs> <item>. <laughs> <laughs> We're silly today. How am I can explain the joke? <laughs> oh. A famous CEO ah. who is allegedly dead is actually alive in Israel selling online kosher healthcare products. Ted? <laughs> Ted the CEO? Yes, a famous American CEO. I'm saying he faked his death. I would say that would be uh, Eddie... Um, Who the fuck faked... Eddie... Uh, from, uh, from, uh, from yeah, Crazy Eddie. Crazy Eddie's. What's his name? Eddie Ant Ansar. Ans Eddie... Eddie Ant Antner. Ant Answer? Antlers. Eddie. Is it a guy from Crazy Eddie? No. Is he insane over there in Israel? No. What's he selling over there? Uh, kosher. Online kosher health care yeah. products. Bakala. Kosher health care products. Yeah, they got to yeah. be kosher. Eh? What What's is that? that? Like what? They just got to be blushed. What is one a kosher? thermometer with no pork in it? Eddie Antner, I think. You, gotta, yeah. uh, you, you can't use electricity over there in Israel sometimes. Oh. And you might have a machine that needs electricity so that you get a kosher one. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Really? Yeah. How right, Ian, help me out here with this. Yeah, they See? have stuff on timers, by the way. Yeah, and they have stuff on Nothing's timers. On timers, they're not allowed to turn uh, electricity on and off. So the, uh, some of these kosher things, they, uh, and it's right, they're on timers. So you're not officially turning it on or off. But you and then are, the elevators. You set the timer. But then the yeah, elevators. Yeah, but you set the timer because when you were still allowed to touch the electronics. And elevators stop on every floor. That's because they're old prime. So they could just walk uh, in. Sharon, they're keeping on life support. So he's the only guy with constant electricity on. The, the everyone else, they're on rations. Why don't you know, they Sharon, stop? He's still alive, this guy. He's been in a, a vegetable. Yeah, we forgot about him, huh? They didn't even have electricity like back when they wrote this, so how do they know it's bad? The guy, do you think Sharon's ever going to, you know, go to a Yankees game again? Mm, I don't think know. he ever went to one to begin with. Well, I think it's time we bring him to throw out the first pitch in the state he's in. I am? Yeah. All right, so uh, CEO. Yeah. Is doing this. I, I don't even know any dead CEOs. I know. So this blind you, you item this sucks. Guy. You know this guy. We this do. This guy was a big deal. When did he supposedly die? Yeah. In the last few years. Ken Lay? Hey, figure it out. Ken Lay. Thank you, Dave C. from New York figure City. Figure it out. Who's Ken Lay? Do we know this guy? No one ever saw the body. Who the fuck is Ken Lay? That guy. I don't know that guy. How, 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 do, how do I know this guy? Huh? And this is going to make news when I start going out with this on my site. Yeah? All right. Yeah. He, yeah, he, huh? <laughs> <laughs> CEO of Hard Rock killed himself. Randy Kwasniewski. Oh, and there's a little Jewish uh, thing in his name there. Oy. Uh Randy Kwa... What about that, Ian? Uh, look. You guys are warm. That's all I could say. Oh. Let me ask you a question. If I get Larry King off the air, will you guys take the slot? If I can get nah, you in there? I don't feel like it. Nine o'clock at uh, night. I, Nine I, to ten. You, I don't you do guys TV. are slaving away five, six hours a no. day. Yeah, you're right. What if I get you an hour a day and then I boot out Cooper and, I, and His Highness takes the 10 to 11 slot? <laughs> you, so, so you're planning on taking over CNN with our help? Yeah, because I kind of like that sucks. idea. Their ratings suck. I, I know like for it. a fact, if you put you guys on... Yep. And then his highness up yep. to bat next, and Norton on both shows. Wait, so you we're on both shows. We're going to knock these people out of the park. So we're we're your lead in. Yeah, you yeah you guys you know you're batting third. His highness only bats cleanup. <laughs> I, I'm the A Rod of talk entertainment. Oh, Ken Lay is the Enron guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Or is it Henry Ford? Someone's saying. Hey, Ford man. Yeah. I don't know. You know what Ford's doing today? As Norton says, he's staring at Grump himself. alert, grump alert, grump <laughs> alert. Look, can I just say something? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Can Keith put his fucking clothes on and get out of my backyard? What is he doing? <laughs> fucking ass hanging. He's oh laying down on one of my fucking chase lounges, <laughs> butt that. ass naked. <laughs> What awful white cheeks. <laughs> He's just laying in hey, my Hey, baby yard. ass, get up. Baby ass. <laughs> Tell baby ass to get up. Oh, God. <laughs> he knows he's on camera and he, he just ran just away. He ran away. <laughs> Goodbye, baby hiney. Get the fuck off Why of my naked furniture. In the in your he's backyard. He's going to put Dezenex on his balls. <laughs> <laughs> what a child's hiney. 
he was, he was like humping the fucking the chase lounge. He ran out because those black workers were getting undressed in the other thing <laughs> to come over and give him a good give a good rogering. He needs yeah. some. He remember, needs... you arrested me back in. Uh oh. Oh shit. No, he this needs... is how this is how they get tickets fixed. He, they give him a, give him a good rogering. He needs butt paste. Yeah. Keith likes a good rogering from black gentlemen. <laughs> why is he naked in your backyard, and why can you why can you see it from here? Oh, I could pop up all of my security I cameras I'm just fucking here, set it up so, so the audience knows what the fuck's yes, going on. Yes, exactly. So uh, what I was doing is I was watching some of the um, uh, gentlemen, some of the gentlemen opening my pool for the season. My pool is being opened for the season, Yay. and uh, apparently, um, you know, <laughs> was, you know, oh my god, what? He said my neighbor lady was looking out the window and yelling. <laughs> If she thinks that's me, I swear to God. Oh, that's awesome. And even if she doesn't, why is there a naked man in my yard? Keith, she could was, you knock it off? She was yelling at him? Yeah, apparently that's why You're he got up so quick. You're to be naked in your backyard, right? I don't know, but sunbathing nude? There, no, I, there's people living next door that could kind of see. So? That's their problem. Build a fucking tall I, fence. I, I don't know what the you know protocol is, but I'm... I don't want them thinking like, oh my god, Anthony's out there with his ass hanging out, or Anthony has naked men in his yard. Wow, do I hope the papers grab that rent boy scandal on Long Island. <laughs> He's son uh, of a bitch. Notorious homophobe Anthony Cumia <laughs> and a police oh. officer were embroiled in a sexual controversy. <laughs> officer Keith, known as baby ass <laughs> baby to friends ass. and men of color. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's still on the line, I think. Oh, this is Ian. terrible. I got breaking news. I got breaking news. Yeah. Heather Locklear. Yep. Just in. Uh, had an affair with Roseanne Barr three years ago. Heather Locklear and Roseanne Barr. Get the yes. Three fuck years out of ago. Here. Why are you saying that? I just got a tip on him. You just got a tip. Yeah? Kind of yeah. Locklear and Roseanne. And Roseanne. That's an odd uh, right, thing I've hold never heard of. Hold on. We got Keith on the yeah. oh, hotline. Okay, hold Ian, on. Hold on. Stay on the line, man. We're doing radio with you right Keith. now. Keith. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah. Keith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? Now, does the neighbor think that I have gay, gay naked men in my yard? <laughs> Dude, she yelled. Uh, she's yelling out the window, and she's from next to the Greek lady. What, what did she what say? she yell? The, the one to the uh, left, if you look at the house. And then all, all the Orientals are in the yard in the back, too. What did she say, though? Did she yell? Yeah, she just looked out the window and started yelling, so I grabbed my clothes and I ran <laughs> up <laughs> the house. You ass. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you taking your clothes off in my yard? You know, you should say that for well, inside the house, like normal. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I have, the, I have the car club car, so I don't have keys, so I'm bored. I have nothing to do. I'm waiting for Ange to get here to let me in. Oh, you can't get in the house? No. Oh, that's, uh, you don't know the, uh, the trick? No, I don't know a trick. Yeah, there's a trick. Uh, I'll well, show you. I don't know the trick. So I, I figured I'd just lay out naked in your yard for a little while. Tell him the trick. Yeah. I ain't going to tell him the trick on the air. Why? Just tell him the trick. I'm not telling him the trick. Anthony keeps a spare key under the little uh, under the little black fella holding the lantern. Well, actually, oh. then I, I I don't, but there actually is. If, if, oh, is it really? Well, let me. I can show you on cam. It's great. Yes. Jesus. No, uh, uh, yeah, there's a trick, Keith. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll text you. I keep forgetting to move that little black guy when the guys from the pool come here to... Uh... Oh, God, they were there! <laughs> yeah. yeah. For a guy yeah. that doesn't like those people, they oh do a lot God. of work for you. I, I employ yeah. a lot of minorities. You're like the fucking guy at the end of Mississippi burning Clayton Towley when he's being arrested and his black workers are staring at him. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at that, Jimmy. See, that's uh, my <laughs> little... My little uh, Lawn jockey lantern. They must hate you so much. And and the hose is going right by it, so they saw it. They were, I know, and I'm I'm looking, and obviously they saw it. Oh, yeah, Keith! They, they were all around. Huh? They were all around up there. Oh my God! They're probably very angry. Oh well. Yeah. All right, stay off, stay, stay off of my fucking chairs with your cock. <laughs> Ten bucks if you rub your fucking rub rub your dick and balls all over his pillows. No, <laughs> ten bucks. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna lay backwards so the face so the face is there. Yeah, yeah. He'll do it for free. What are you kidding? Ten bucks. And I contact and I was talking on the phone. I've contacted an attorney about the pool because this is ridiculous now. Yes. Have you, wait, have you really? 
Yeah. Yes, I did. I just got off the phone with somebody. I don't know where all the water goes. Wait, it's, it's a full pool when they cover it, and then when they uncover it, it's an empty pool, and no one knows where the water went. Wow, that's the whole, the whole scary. Thing's horrific. Are you contacting an attorney about that or about the uh, fixing it, the coloring it in or whatever? And issue? look, look at the look at the walls, the discoloration, everything, everything and stuff. Is horrific. The guy that put this in is a fucking uh, uh, mo motherfucker. Yeah. That guy. By the way, so I talked talk to the guy and. I talked to, the, to the, my lawyer friend, and he's going to uh, talk to us uh, when you get home. Sue everyone! Uh, by the way, real quick, the, when yeah. the, fi the Fios guy came to install me uh, with uh, my Fios, oh, yes. he, he did tell me that um, he's petrified because they don't want to be another pool guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he made sure to do a very good job. Oh, very good. That's good. For you're part of the Fios family now, Danny. Officially, yes. How do yeah. you feel? Uh, liberated. Isn't it great? It's, it's very nice. Gotta love. Fuck you, Cablevision. What does that pool guy say? You ask him time after time. What's he been saying? It's just an excuse. It's this. It's that. It, and, then, and then they just don't take calls and they disappear. He doesn't make money off fixing his pool. Exactly. That's how all those, not all those guys, but a lot of guys, uh, that's how that they That pool is two they seasons work. old and it looks like it's been used in fucking... Uh, it looks like <laughs> fucking <laughs> Costello's baby drowning. <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, we'll see what the attorney says. Andy's got here, so I can All right, All right thank you. Go in the house. Go in the house and just hey, get your fucking clothes on. Ian Halpert's still on the line here. All right. Ian, uh, you going to sing us out or anything? Because we got to go now. Yeah, well, hey, I'll, I'll just say peace out to everyone. I'm peace just out. coming back to New York, and uh, okay. it's just been wild. Uh, bon journée à tout le monde. Hey, Jimmy, Jim Norton at Montreal. En juillet pour le festival juste pour real. Thank you, sir. Wow. Are you going to be up there at all? Good the luck nice. at the festival, yes. Yes. Break a leg. Absolutely. He's going to be the biggest hit Montreal's ever had. I haven't oh, been there in a while. Are you Are you going to be up there at all this summer yeah, for the dude, festival? I'm, I'm going to be in the front row. All right, good. I'll see you, you up know? there. Right. I'm, going to, I'm going to be bringing every gorgeous check to your show in Montreal. Thank you. You know, we're, yeah, we're going to pull that, that one off. Place. Wait, 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 which venue are you playing? Place des Arts? Or it's not Club Denis? Soda. Oh, Club Soda, that's a good venue. Yeah, yeah, it sells out every night. Is it really? Thirteen I, I shows, yeah. Club Soda, <laughs> Club Soda. really? A yeah. Club Soda? It's called Club Soda. It's a theater. How many yeah. does that seat? Like five, six hundred people? It's a great club. Yeah, it's about 650. I've played there many times on saxophone. It has amazing <laughs> of course it acoustics, did. gorgeous ushers, and, uh, you're gonna, and you're right in the heart of the action. There's a strip club right across the street. It's called Cleopatra's. I may have my broad with me. Uh, then again, maybe I won't. How long have you been with this chick? I have close to a year. Oh, yeah? Oh, already? Are, are you in love, man? Do you ever get, you know, the temptation to look around? or? Every, everyone's or... tempted to look. Yeah. You know, we all look, but it's like, you know, to doing something, it's like, eh. Yeah, that's it. But the key is, you know, you could look, but you don't have to touch. Let me tell you guys, next week... I have the biggest scoop. I will reveal it exclusively on your show. Why don't you do it now? If you know yeah, there's going to be a scoop, yeah. then you know what it is. If I reveal it now, you guys are going to wonder if it's true or not. I'm actually going to bring the person on directly on your show next week. And this is going to make huge headlines in the next few weeks. I'm going to reveal it exclusively I'm on your show. I'm in disguise, but I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's going to be a blockbuster segment next week. All I right. promise you. He's promising a blockbuster next week. Oh, a world know. exclusive on O and A. A world All exclusive, right, a blockbuster. We would appreciate that. All right, Ian. Ian, All right, peace out. Ian uh, thank you for being Your so Highness. patient. Yeah, you rule you uh, with All our best, shenanigans. Anthony. All the best in the delivery room. And, thank you, sir. And Anthony, I want to see you on CNN nine o'clock because Larry King is the most boring motherfucker oh, on TV right now. What I love too, but yeah. uh, you know, and yeah. look, look, rumor I, I has it I'm taking over for uh, Larry yeah, King. By the way, guys, yeah, you guys. Anyhow, next week I promise you. And if I don't deliver, just ax me right then and there. Next week. It's All right, we'll ask you again. Monster. Ax you what, motherfucker? <laughs> see, that's uh, a know, black just, joke. Throw me the stir, it's because they know, say ax instead of ask. All right, that's good. Yeah. All yeah, right. Next week's the big one. All right. All right. Hopefully it is. <laughs> All right. Peace out, boys. All right. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> wow. There's uh, uh, that Ian, Ian Hopper, and I love him. He was a trooper for hanging in during a, a long. We had a lot of that. shenanigans going on. Wow. Look at how fast that time went. With all that going on, I'm sure we only got about 18 reads to do in uh, 20 minutes. You know, really? When, <laughs> yes. When Embiza Girls was here, I'm like, I'm glad the bees ain't stinging everybody. <laughs>